Eh? If you like the video in the next two seconds, you're a legend, mate! And if you're new around here, please consider subscribing and turning the notification bell on as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, sausages and everyone else that watches these videos, I basically was supposed to start this video so enthusiastic as per usual, uh, but having played the previous weekend league, I just feel so drained from the game. I I'm just so demotivated to play this absolute tripe of a game. It's so bad. I honestly... I, I, I severely dislike it. I hate it, in fact. I, I would be better off without it, but I just... But Royster Glory deserves to be made, and obviously, Team of the Season Bundesliga came out, and indeed, Marco Royce got a TOTS card, which is absolutely huge. But before we get into that, some talking points from the end of last episode to this one. So, we completed the Flashback Edda Militao card, the night rated version, of course, the one that didn't expire, and played him in the weekend league, and he was absolutely incredible. Him himself was good. I have no qualms with that card. He is brilliant. The gameplay is not, but Edda Militao gets a big thumbs up from me, so if you're considering doing him, would recommend. Would recommend. We managed to pack ourselves a team of the season, Bundesliga Tots McGee Parson, and no less, it was from Dortmund, a guy that I've met, I've played FIFA with, an absolute lovely bloke, uh, Ashraf Hakimi. We packed Ashraf Hakimi's team of the season card. So a Dortmund team of the season in a pack. <laughs> On top of which, EA released a flashback Witzel card. And you bet, yeah, I had to go out and do it because we did end up putting the Footmas Witzel into an SBC. But I can't remember who, who was it for. Who was it for, boys? Anyway, we got rid of Footmas Witzel a little while ago and needed a replacement for him. So who better than the flashback Witzel? For 140k, I thought EA had made a mistake here, uh, but apparently not. They, they released it at that price, and it's probably one of the best value SBCs you can do because he is incredible on this game. Like Patrick Vieira level. He's so, so good at CDM. And then over the course of the weekend as well, we unlocked ourselves team of the season, Sabitza. Who, again, looks like an absolutely incredible card, but I haven't tried him, so I won't give an opinion on him because I have no opinion to form. But generally, he looks amazing. Uh, and now we have Witzel, Goretzka, uh, Henderson, team of the season, and team of the season, Sabitza, to choose from as our CDM or CDMs. But I want to talk about the reason why you can probably tell that I just don't really care about this stinky game anymore. And effectively, I was 22 and 6 and had two games left to get elite. And I scored... In the 90, oh, I scored in the 89th minute in one of the games to make it 1-0. And this was the game to take me to Elite. And then in the 95th minute of two minutes of extra injury time or whatever, extra time, the 95th minute when only two had been granted, crossed the halfway line like three times, my opponent scored, it went to extra time, and I lost in extra time. So how the... Just, oh, again. And then in my final game where I went into it trying not to tilt, trying to be calm thinking, there's still another chance to get Elite, boys. But EA may have shafted us in the first one. They're not going to do it again in this one. Another game that goes to extra time. Guess what time he scores? 124th minute with two minutes of extra time again. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do on this game? Absolute joke, EA. I just, I give up. I give up. And you can't say, oh, it's your own fault. You, you conceded, blah, blah, blah. I did everything in my power to make sure that at the 92nd and 122nd minute, we were we were fine. We would have won the game or we'd have drawn and gone to penalties. I'm fuming. I'm fuming, boys. This game is a joke. I really don't want to play Weekend League ever again. But the new team is, as you can see, bang! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. Eusebio doesn't even make the bench now. Uh, and a lot of people are going to go, why? Why is he doing it? Because he just, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, I just don't like him. A lot of people do get on really well with this card, but for me, I think he's rubbish. I've got to be honest, I think he's absolutely rubbish. But anyway, we are playing the 4-1-2-1-2 currently. We played the 3-5-2 for 25 games in the weekend league. And I tell you what, it was genuinely a load of fun. We had the centre-backs of Militao, Varane and Ramos. And they were immense. But you can see brand new Witzel, brand new Edin Militao, brand new Marco Royce, who we paid 1,056,000 coins for, and we're already in profit on him. Who'd have thought that, boys? Immediately made profit, bought him very early on this morning, uh, and now he's at like 1.15 mil, which is absolutely fantastic. I I'm actually going to compare the price just to show you guys. 
Look at that. Oh, we've already made money. Fantastic EA. Thank you very much. So I'll show you the custom tactics that we have been running. Um, we've been going to 4 one 2 one 2 in game. Witzel goes CDM, as I said. Goretzka, Matthias, centre mids. Royce at camp. Neymar and Mbappe, strikers. Uh, and, and the back line pretty much stays exactly the same, apart from Varane switches over because his week puts a little better. So yeah, I mean, that is the current situation at Roy CFC. I am livid at the fact that this game is absolutely woeful, but unfortunately, it is what it is. And if the two red picks are very, very bad, for which I will show you, of course, I'll make a video around that, then I probably won't be doing any more weekend leagues. It's just not worth my time. Especially in quarantine, we don't. Uh, I keep saying that uh, it's not great for my mental health, and then I keep playing it. So how does that work? Basically, just gotta hope that the SBCs that come out this week, or the guaranteed Bundesliga Tots packs slash Liga Nos packs, which are definitely going to be released, reward us because I'd love an Alex Telles. That would really, that would really make my week. A team of the season, Alex Telles in the Liga Nos pack, and then a team of the season, Joshua Kimmich, perhaps in the Bundesliga pack because I do want to look to sell this Matthias because he's of the course tradable card. I know he's only like 1.4 million coins now, but he's still a tradable card. Somehow replace what was I doing that? Somehow replace Matthias with Kimmich. Because I think a midfield three of Witzel, Kimmich and Goretzka, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. But anyway, you want to see gameplay with Team of the Season Royce. Now, I have no gameplay from Foot Champions because as soon as my Foot Champions uh, run ended, uh, basically I rage quit my PlayStation, uh, turned it off immediately, stormed off to bed, um, and have no footage for the final few games of the Weekend League. So we'll have to make some gameplay footage right now, see how the team is playing. But really quickly before we head into this game, can we just admire how good Royce's physical stats are for once? He's got 93 stamina. This card is going to be sick. I mean, I've tried him already, and his shooting feels immense. Uh, that's one improvement from previous Royce cards that I've definitely felt. His weak foot shooting, uh, I think I've scored two goals off his left foot, and it feels really good. So his, cl his clinical finishing has definitely improved on this team of the season. It's not as good as his 98 was last year, but it's never going to be because it's 95. However, generally, this card gets a big thumbs up from me. So far, anyway. Tried him for a few games. Yeah, let's go into a game, see how the team gets on. Um... Let's see if Ross can get some goals. So here we go then. First game. Team of the season. Soon true team of the season. Odegaard. Henderson and Fakir, who I came up against so often in the weekend league. Just gone. Right then. Put Royce to some good use. Okay. Um, my players are just switched off for the first two minutes, which is brilliant. Oh, Mbappe's in. Cross the keeper. 1-0. Bang. Oh, we're getting a quit. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Oh, mate, why? Oh, he went 4 and 2 and 2 as well. That surprised me. I thought he was going to get 4 2 3 1. Team's too good, boys. For some people, they don't want to come up against teams like this because they've been playing them all weekend league. And it's not surprising, really, is it? Uh, also, as well, guys, if you can think of any team changes that you'd like me to make, I can certainly try and implement them. Of course, Varane is tradable, Matthias is tradable, and Mbappe is tradable, but I don't really want to get rid of this card because it's the best striker that I've used in FIFA. Maybe ever. I think it's only right that we head into another game, but as I say, if you can come up with any team suggestions using the new players that we've acquired, be my guest. Uh, if any, if needs be, we can always uh, uh, sell Varane off, uh, play Hakimi there uh, instead, because Ramos at centre back is actually really good anyway. So I mean, at the moment we're playing a four-one-two-one-two, or we're playing a four-two-three-one, or we're playing a three-five-two. So players in those formations would be very appreciated. Can't even think. Team number two, icon swaps. I oh, got Cruz team of the season red. That's actually a good pull. And Lucas Perez, who I haven't actually played against, but stats wise, he looks mental. Come on then. Oh, oh, Mbappe's just absolutely bullied him. Oh, name up. Oh, he... lovely, lovely. Marco Royce. Exquisite finish from the boy. Not going to miss that. Not with his new updated shooting. Royce, oh my gosh, he's literally just killed Adam in the tower, but we've still kept the ball. No, shoot. And load quicker. Nice, great ball. Finish. He's so much more powerful in front of goal now. So uh, I'm going to find enjoyment out of this Royce card, especially as I've used Royce for like 45 million games this year already. 
Oh, Neymar, that's so good. Like, we genuinely were playing good FIFA throughout the weekend league as well, which is, the, which is the annoying part. It just feels like we've been shafted by the game over and over again. I know I sound like a broken record, guys, but I know a lot of you will agree with me. This gameplay, the last weekend, was by far and away the worst I've experienced so far for a weekend league. Not even in terms of, like, difficulty, because the weekend before, which was La Liga, was harder, I think. How clunky people felt. Felt like I was stuck in mud for half the games. And I know that's not on my players. Because Neymar should not feel like that. Okay, we're going to go into our final game. Just for the purpose of this video. To show you guys just how good Royce is. I mean, hopefully you're getting an idea of just how good he is so far. I'm definitely feeling an improvement from previous Royce cards. Uh, compared to the headliner, this is head and shoulders above what that absolute stinky card was. Okay, third and final game. Nice team. Interesting. Different. Ansu Fati and Saul. He's done Laudrup though. That's questionable. I've never I've never actually come up against him, so I don't know how good the card is. Okay. Oh, yes, EA. Putting a blue kit against a dark blue kit against a black kit. Fantastic. Fantastic work, EA Sports. Oh, I thought I'm I was nearly gonna be able to left stick dribble through that entire team then. But yeah, Royce, this Royce card feels way better. Way better than any other version that's currently on the game. And I know that sounds like a silly remark to make. But sometimes Team of the Season cards don't feel like a massive boost in comparison. What are these touches, man? What actually are these touches? Oh, no. Oh, God. Good goal. Uh, well, the 4 nils off, boys. The Schalke scoreline is done. We cannot get that. <laughs> Holy moly. Lovely. Finish that. No! This to Stegen is cracked, man. My one's just rubbish. I swear that I experienced this with every goalkeeper on the game. Every keeper that I come up against. Same keeper as mine. Insane. My keeper, absolute donut. Can't do anything. Oh my god. <sighs> what? What? This is the... the what? Oh. And uh, you see... But, uh, one one. That's probably the worst way I could have taken that goal, but I wanted Royce to score. <laughs> and he bowled it anyway. <laughs> oh, Mendy, please don't automatically switch me off that player. Oh my god, Ryan Kent scored a cutback. What is this game? I hate FIFA 20! Holy moly! No, I passed that to Mbappe. I passed it to Mbappe! He's two yards away, mate! What are you doing, game? Oh my gosh, I cannot deal with this game. I can't deal with this game. 2-2. Two, two. How is it 2-2? Two, two? <laughs> Win that. Oh my god. I, I knew exactly where he was passing that and he still didn't get it. Oh my flipping Christ. Thank you to Stegen. Yes, he's made a save. About time. I don't know if he seems to just keep moaning, but this is so bad. This... <sighs> I want to see what the stats were as well. Oh, my. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be me signing out for the end of the foreseeable future. I don't know if I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to do a video on rewards, but after that, I have no idea. This game is a joke. And you can't even blame me for saying, oh, you got to take your chances, but you got to take your chances, but... And mine were all in the box. They were all in the box. And I was putting them in the corner. Anyway, I don't want to bring a Debbie Downer on the end of the video because it's been quite a successful video we've got a brand new team of the season royce which of course is a major major talking point we've got Vitzel, we've got edda militao uh we've got sabitzer on the bench who i didn't even bring on to try i said i was going to and i've completely failed in that department i apologize this game is absolutely woeful but hopefully you get good weekend league rewards for your efforts over the previous weekend of just nonsense and chaos Leave your team suggestions anywhere that you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, in the comments down below. Thank you ever so much for watching the video as per usual, guys. Like if you did enjoy it, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Adios.